But we'll start off on... Uh, to fight. We'll start on Poseidon's point of view. I'm curious how he's going to make this work. Round begins in... Three... Two... One... Fight. Right. Go straight for that Mega. Gets the rockets stone with his rail and heavy spawn. So nothing too crazy at the start. Mm, but sometimes... I don't know how I feel about this. Sometimes a lot of players like to spend their rails and... As you can see, the stone just going straight in. With that orb and no rockets for Posita. Both players railable here. Very tight for both, but... Cedar gets the Mega, again, manages to escape. Yeah, or else, yeah, was... uh, still, <laughs> in the first minute, not really connecting. For both players, mm -hmm. it would have been a great opening. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it's good to do Time Shard Denial, but sometimes just like using hooks that don't get you much, you just hold on to them, because you'd be surprised that um, how much just having an extra hook will actually help you in some some cases. Ooh, the rocket was grand, but the orb gets used, and that makes uh, Stone in a better position, actually, dishing out so much damage. Still one rocket before uh, Besita died onto the Stone, so there is a refrag. Very close battle there. Yeah, item's not up for a few seconds, but yeah, stone does not have the orb. So no attack right away. He does some great damage on this uh, heavy pickup, by the way. But... <laughs> that move wasn't the best. Mm. I mean, so far, just Pesita using his weapon advantage, you know? We're not seeing too much, but orb is going to orb in. Actually, going to be a mutual, and this is a great reset for Stone now. And he gets the better end of it too. He gets the mega. Oh, a Poseida. Okay, cancel that Stone going in for the kills. Um, but but that like uh, in the first instance, you would say that Poseida did great damage with the starting machine gun, but then Stone turned it around. Just getting up close with the rockets, uh, with the rocket jump. But yeah, Pasita gets the refrack in the end. Is out of position for the Mega Elf. So that one will go to Stone. Stone gets the rail. It was a bit awkward there. He was quite low to be able to try and contest, but Stone has the rail, and this is where he gets bad. Pasita did no damage there. Managed to hit a very critical rail. It's going to push him away. And uh, Stone just has free reign right now. Then I'd like Stone to play fast. He has the uh, he has the stack. Okay, that rail, 10 HP, and finishes. Nice. Well played by him. And notice as well by Poseidon, he just holds the spawn. He just wants to see where Stone will try to like maybe go for a spawn frag. Just waits for it. Just really patient. Sometimes you don't have to always like sp you know spam your respawn so quick. Doesn't always give you. Uh, you know, there's always some you just die faster when you do that. But this Mega not going to be up for 10 seconds, it's way too early. So I'm going to pick up another one, I think. Oh, you could get this frag. Stone picks up the Mega during the fight, actually. And he had such a good start. Okay, as I say that, he gets a MG frag. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh, it Okay, like, like they're both just plus forwarding. Like, I, I do sto think Stone has more reason to do it after a spawn. Mm. Uh, but I'm surprised um, that Sita is still the victor in the previous two fights. But now, uh, yeah, he was totally outdone. Stone hitting the rockets. He needs to tie it up again. This is why sometimes the light champions are such an interesting pick you know if you if you don't have the patience if you just keep pushing uh it just sets you even further back you know getting that stack getting the weapons getting having good position it's one of the best things about being the light champion you know having that flexibility but uh gonna stabilize so it's gonna work out okay and it's pressuring with the rockets getting pretty good damage 
But this is also a bit stone uh, play style, right? He just plus forwards until he just pushes someone uh, off the map. But yeah. sometimes it doesn't work, and then Five minute instead of he's he's winning with twenty to four, he's losing with the same amount. <laughs> And right now he's uh, completely uh, squeezing Pasita off the map. Mm -hmm. And now what will Pasita do? I like this by Stone. Could have maybe gone for maybe an orb play, but... Okay, Pasita, he knows where he is. Can't catch me now. Oh, but the orb... And he's going to miss the heavy too. So it's actually worked out against him by doing that. And Pasita pushing in. Wrong weapon choice by Stone. Absolutely just really quite a clean kill, I think, there. Yeah, uh, Sita using uh, the to perfection. With the second activation, just pushing stone away. And mid fight, he gets the mega elf. So and gets a very clean frag for playing a light on this map. You know, I like the idea that stone had there, but it just it shows sometimes that sometimes being too. There's trying to get too cheeky. How, how quickly that. Um, the advantage can be switch, switched because Stone had the edge on Pasita, but then he misses rail or he misses opportunity. Pasita hooks the heavy, gets it, and now all of a sudden Pasita's in a better position. So have to be very careful sometimes with like how you set these traps and not getting yourself, you know, sometimes trapping yourself instead of, uh, well, as you say, being the trappy. The trappy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I invented that word. Uh, I thought it was a real English word, but uh, <laughs> it is now. <laughs> You have a trappy, Look. the trapper and the trappy. <laughs> for, for me, it logically makes sense, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, and again, well, as we've been talking, uh, Pasita has a three frag lead somehow. Don't know when that happened actually. Um, yeah, let's, now let's give Stone some uh, screen time. He has three minutes uh, to get three frags. Well, he, and these rails. True. Yeah, he has uh, some control to work with, but uh, Pasita is doing an excellent job of hitting those nasty rails around the corner. Oh, he's gonna get the kill though. Picks up the Mega during that battle. And I want to see he's starting to apply more pressure. He kind of needs to, I think. Actually, it's two, two and a half minutes, but going for this heavy would have been good. Okay. Gets the heavy. This is way to T. Pasita, no armor to his name. So I like what Stone is doing here. Unfortunately, he does take a bit of damage, but it's kind of what happens. Gets the Mega. Pasita trapped at HMG. Still gets away. I and Stone not letting up right now. This is a nice play by him. Yeah, the orb is up, but the, uh, it's, it's difficult to trap someone uh, with... Uh, the portal in play. In mm -hmm. oh, and he actually wastes it. Like, now he has uh, oh. a long time before that's up again. The rail that Pasita Stone hit there, really critical. Gonna push uh, Pasita just away, so he's a bit harder for him to contest. And this is the frustrating things about um, about having more mobility. We saw it against on CK with uh, Jeez, in, Inns versus Redcon, I already forgot. <laughs> and uh, we're seeing it happen again, just instantly, just getting away just a little bit and not being able to kind of seal those frags. Yeah, that was BJ against uh, the Crouch Slider. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I don't think like Stone, um, he has to hit one drill and then Orb, but right now he's actually throwing it away. Stopwatch. It is only two frags, but... And... Mm. Mm. And maybe do uh, the, the Max oh. <laughs> Maxter trick. Oh, uh, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. That was a sick frag, actually. I yeah, did like that one. That was a beautiful one. Okay. He's got 25 seconds. I would love for a stone to try to get his ability back, but he's not even going to have enough time for that. And Rocket jumps up. 
and this is part of the reason where it gets tough. One mistake like that, Posita actually gets the heavy, and it's going to be really hard for Stone there. But just as I say that, almost gets a rocket to orb combo, and uh, Posita going to win the first map. You win. Nice, it was a close one in the end. That was we that was kind of weird, I have to be honest. Because there was that moment in in the mid game around about minute three to five where they just kept pushing each other and then it just kind of stopped. It just kind of equalized, everybody said, alright, that's enough. Um, then it kind of evened out, Cedar took that three frag lead and that was enough to, to kind of secure the rest of the game. But uh, Gleenit versus BJ. I'm going to be interested in this kind of pick. I do favor the uh, the Galena, actually. BJ with a bit more kill potential, but Galena has enough, you know, you can play the map slow enough. BJ doesn't have, like, the enough mobility to kind of, like, close these kills. And if Stone plays it right, you know, sets the terms at the top, uh, disengages every time Pesita uses his ability, it's going to be quite hard, I think. Um, so slight edge to Stone, but not impossible for, for Pesita. And sometimes it's all we need. We just need a chance. <laughs> and I see someone asking uh, about how do you qualify? Uh, Hive Mind Apex. Um, there were like seven weeks previous uh, that every Saturday um, there was a, a tournament from Astoti and you got points Prepare depending on uh, which position you took. And uh, yeah, this, these are the eight highest three. ranked. Uh, Layers from those tourneys. Fight. Uh, just a second. Yeah, I'll start on stone. Okay. So first mega only just getting picked up now. And stone has has his notorious top position. But not gonna make anything of it. Actually, it's a nice little uh, rocket as Pesita enters and gonna push him away, but Pesita gonna jump for it. It's a nice, nasty little direct onto that heavy. And I love actually the pressure by Stone, but doesn't manage to connect any of the rockets. And Pesita gonna clean up a kill. And this is what we don't want. Okay, this is what. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Look at the tracking with the starting machine gun. Oh Jesus. my lord. Hopefully we don't get a reminiscent of what happened on the first map. Just players pushing in one after another. Um, okay, oh, Stone gonna oh. get the heavy though. It is the Russian style of Quake. Mm -hmm. But the... Sita activating his ability and uh, absolutely gonna tear Stone up there. Okay, Besita has pretty much full control of the map. A relatively good split between the items, so I'd like to see him get to this heavy early enough. Hopefully take it up pretty cleanly. Nice pressuring away, does so much damage to Stone, look at that. Stone sub 50 now. Besita knows where he is. Sometimes I don't like this. Sometimes we're spending too much time. Now the items are quite split, but sometimes this can this can actually favor the out of control player in some some situations. But we'll see how it pans out. I actually look also at the picks and bends. Like mm. Pasita had the first pick. Uh, Sorkin Pika was banned, and he mm -hmm. picked up BJ as first pick. Might be just like a stylistic thing if you're a bit of a BJ expert, no pun intended. Um, how do I say? You can do. You can. <laughs> I think there was a pun intended. You can be a. Uh, oh god. Um, uh, fucking. I don't know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> uh, uh, you can make a lot of. You can do a lot of work there. But I did find there was scalebar up. You know, Pasita likes to play scale too. But who knows? Maybe he just wanted to play it. It was a bit of a gentleman's, gentleman's agreement. No one's going to play scale. Because I do think against the heavy, he's quite strong on this map. 
Uh, yes. But, uh, scale kind of just, yeah. Best champ in the game, it feels like, sometimes, but... Um... Okay. See it gets the heavy. Gonna push into stone here and... Okay, stone hitting with a return rail. It hits actually two rails. It's gonna be maybe an opportunity for stone now. Pushes in with LG. Oh no, stone! Oh, it's straight in the end. I tried to nice duck uh, in my seat, but it didn't help. Uh, <laughs> the seat's up. <laughs> Uh, okay, Pasita again with the next heavy. Doesn't have a rail, and uh, he's gonna actually opt to get it instead of go for the mega. Switch over to Stone's POV. Oh, the direct, double direct. Yeah, this okay. is re this is revenge. <laughs> oh. Wow. Clean kills like that so valuable in, in this game, and... Oh, a nice little move by Stone. Excellent rocket jump. But he decides to follow up with the rail. Mm -hmm. Gets it in the end, and Pasita, uh, yeah, did not really push. I'm surprised he doesn't push in there. Maybe he doesn't recognize how low Stone is, but... Stone gets the Mega, and he has top position with Totem Control. Pasita just trying to get what he really can at the moment. Ah, oh, he does uh, take the time files. All the time files, actually. So he has his ability back up. Stop watch. Yeah, Stone wanted to trap uh, or lay out a trap on that light, but Pasita uh, did not go for it. He will now, but uh, Five minutes yeah, Stone morning. is not at the scene anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is where it's kind of strong for BJ. But actually managed wow. to connect no rockets. Stone just cleaning up. Yeah, and it's also like if you just wait a few seconds and then go through a portal, then it's <laughs> a much more unexpected move than if you mm. just uh, move through it. Like Pasita was really waiting on Stone going through it, but Stone did not do it. Uh, yeah, at the second Pasita expected it. Right, exactly. And it just goes to show like how subtle the game is, like just one missed rocket there completely just made Stone just dominate that fight entirely, so a bit unfortunate, but a little battle here over the heavy and Stone is early, but it doesn't matter, it's a nice direct. Oh, no. uh, Cedar. Uh Excellent use of the ability, getting pretty good value. Um, okay, game is uh, only one frag. Pasita now has now has the top position, or has that side of the map, so... And Pasita gets the heavy uncontested, that's very important going into this mega now. Oh, and Pasita hits a rocket! Stone does no damage. This is tough. Okay, if I was Pasita, get the Mega and instantly go, but I don't like that he leaves it up. This can be a potential for actually Stone to get it, and it looks like he will. Hits another rail. And just like that, Pasita had such a lead with the items he had. Nice rockets by Stone to kind of defend. Uses the rail, but doesn't connect. Oh, but the LG to rail doesn't doesn't go, and Pasita picks it up. Yeah, Pasita still had enough anyway for a second rail shot. Oh, and now just cleaning up a little bit. Did, did you notice uh, actually while playing BJ uh, a big difference in the changes they uh, did in his rate of fire? Uh, well, it's just I think it's more just a bit easier to use LG mainly because now instead of you have to kind of before it did like double damage at a slower fire rate now it just kind of shoots now you just fire both lgs like kind of uh, one after another it looks um it just feels much easier to use i think you just do more uh you can use it in more situations but mainly the rockets and the shotgun that kind of got a bit uh, quite a big nerf because you could just fire so many rockets 
or do so much shotgun damage. That was quite a big nerf, but um, no, I think overall it's a really good change what they did. Yeah, and, and it also fixes the sound a bit, uh, cutting uh, or not cutting off that much. And oh, this rocket jump. Oh, that rail. So it needs to get out, but sticks around. And Poseidon in a very good position now to kind of take out this game. I mean, Stone has no weapons to his name besides just the rail. Oh, actually, sorry, I think he has a rocket. That's a rocket, okay. Time to die. Nice. Wow. Were we on, uh, if we're on Poseidon's point of view just then, yeah. the way he moved, if anybody wants to clip that, exactly how he moves, just dancing around that top position, perfect example of how to use better position, even just by just a little bit. And it made it so hard for Stone to kind of like uh, convert the, um, do any damage at all. Because he just cleaned him up. But it Stone, okay. <laughs> well, he has uh, 35 seconds to get back. And he's on the rampage. <laughs> Let's go. Want to, don't want to say never say never. Stone would have to do some quite a lot of damage, like literally right now. Uh, I think it's too much. Oh yeah, but Pasita only has the real, it seems. Mm. Yeah, and the starting machine gun, uh, two of those. Yeah. Oh, and the goal <laughs> will finish. <laughs> the disrespect. No, you don't. <laughs> you win. Yeah. You could Pasita. Poseidon is such a savage. He could have just let him literally let Stone get the kill, have a one frag lead. No, he had to literally do the gauntlet finish. Uh, I like it. Yes, uh, Poseidon gets uh, another 3 0. Or uh, 3 0, 2 0. Uh, series win. Okay, let's see who we have.